Welcome to Synthetic Oil Protection. I'm your host, Eben, and we're back on another exciting cold flow test. That's right. This is among a series of many cold flow tests, so definitely check them out. Today is the ultimate synthetic, 100% synthetic AMS oil, max duty diesel, six times more wear protection on your cylinders for cylinder scuffing on the uh, industry standard test. And this can actually go double to triple the OEM interval. So if you have a vehicle that it calls for about uh, 6,000 miles, you can go 12 uh, or more thousand miles, depending if you're doing oil analysis. So we're gonna be showing how great this sucker is. And we're going up against our beloved Shell Rotella T4 triple protection. Triple protection's good, but we're gonna show what the differences are right now. So let's kick it off. We're gonna go ahead and start out with our AMS oil. We're gonna crack the seal, give you an up close. Super easy to pop her in, just like this. Super easy. You have a little pop -a -roo. Last time I did this, we had a shooter. We're not gonna get one this time, geez. Those shooters are dangerous. Boy, it'll give you a scare. So whoop, we're in. And now we're gonna pour in the liquid gold. And you say, even why do you call it liquid gold? Well, because of the protection. So I'll show you what I mean. You have to be quiet when you're doing this. It's seductive. Seductive. The golden, it uh, entrances you. Right there. And now for the winner of all the past rounds, the Shell Rotella. This one took down, boy, Chevron, took down uh, Mobile, uh, just completely sucker punched uh, the, uh, the Cummins oil. It was the, uh, what is that called? Completely slipped my mind. Selective memory, selective memory. So here's the uh, specs it meets and exceeds. And it's, uh, oh, uh, the blue, the, the Valvoline blue. And now we'll crack it, give you an up close crack. Huh. Like that, and here we go. Wow, they look very similar. I wonder if they're the same. And now for the price of the oil. This right here is the shell, the shell we got at our OYE auto parts right here in Vegas. Got it today and we got it for only 17 bucks. And I know you're all wondering how much is the AMS oil and where do I get it? Well, I got to give you both. Number one, how much is it? Well, I always tell people, if you have to ask, that means you probably can't afford it. Now I'm just kidding around. That's just a joke. E anyone can afford it. It's actually less than free. Uh, and I actually did a video on that. You say even less than free. How could that be? Well, I can't get into it here. It'll take too long. So check out that video. It's going to be up here in the corner, not pulling your leg. It is way less than free. And uh, I've been doing this now for about, oh my God, 5,000 hours doing uh, oil changes, transmission fluid changes, uh, all different fluid changes with the AMS oil products. And that's why I proudly represent the products here on the channel. I have all my links down in the description section below. So if you want to support the channel, you'd like to buy some products, you're more than welcome to. If you're on a smartphone, you're going to see a little reverse down arrow. Click that tab. Whoop! Show goes right down into the description section. You'll see all my links. Uh, everything I do there is all documented and uh, also technical data on how this is that much better is also down there. So I always share that. It's all the truth, the facts, the real results. And then I have uh, third party and uh, my personal testing. So it's all real world. So you just never know uh, what you might find out down there. So I encourage you to go digging a little bit. Go down that rabbit hole. I'm telling you, there'll be no snakes down there, only fluffy rabbits and they'll give you a kiss. Now inside the cryogenic freezer we go. And I get a lot of questions. They say, Ethan, why are you doing this uh, cryogenic freezer? 
And a lot of people, they're curious why. Well, the reason is because I like to show the actual difference. A lot of people, they always say even, isn't oil just oil? And uh, well, if you don't show it in extreme conditions, we just won't know. I mean, they both look the same, are they? Well, we're gonna find out in a second. Stick it inside the books. Negative 50 degrees Celsius below zero. And that is negative 58 degrees Fahrenheit below zero. And a lot of people, they always say, you know, well, there's nowhere that gets that cold and this and that. Well, the reason why we do that is because as the oil is warming up, we actually show it go through that range in reverse. So you're gonna actually see it at negative 30 degrees. And you're gonna see how it still doesn't really flow. So there's a lot of places uh, on the planet that do get uh, well below negative 30. And uh, if you don't believe it's real, go to that place. When you can't move no more, it might be real. <laughs> I'm telling you. You don't want to go there. I'm from Pennsylvania. <clears throat> I know what the cold's all about. You don't want to go where it's below zero. You don't want to break down where it's below zero. You ain't want to hitchhike where it's below zero. You ain't want to check your oil where it's below zero. You know what? You might want to drink some coffee where it's below zero. That's something you might gonna want to do. So I actually uh, made my own coffee for the channel. This is uh, a proprietary blend, Eben's favorite, and uh, a local coffee racer here in Las Vegas makes it. Our good man Owen at Caf du Parizo. And a uh, very colorful gentleman, plays a big part in the community, and his name is Owen Carver, and he's actually been on my YouTube channel many times. He's helped out tremendously by bringing his 2011 Subaru Outback on the channel. Go ahead and just say Amsoil, uh, Subaru Outback fluid changes. You'll see all the videos on uh, Owen's 2011 Subaru Outback. And then, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, tap the notification bell. That way you'll be notified next time I do a new video. And you know, a lot of people on YouTube, these uh, they call them YouTubers. Well, I'm not a YouTuber, I'm a YouLuber, so I'm different. And uh, they ask you to do all this stuff, but they don't really give back that much. Well, that's what makes me different. A lot of people want to know, Eben, how are you different? Well, what I do is I do a giveaway every last Saturday of the month at 11 a.m. So leave a comment. I go down randomly and select people to be in my giveaway, and I give hundreds and hundreds of dollars in gift cards away. So uh, you never know what's coming next. I've given, oh my gosh, $1,500 in Snap-on tools away uh, in one giveaway. I've given, God, 1000 bucks in gift cards so uh, compared to the size of my channel, I've never seen anybody here on YouTube do that type of giving back. And well, it's because that goes with my beliefs. I believe in loving and giving makes life worth living. And the more you give, the better you live. And it truly comes around. And I tell people, a lot of people these days, they wanna just take, 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 dick, dick, take, dick, take, dick, dick, take, take, dick, take, take. And you say, even, sounds like you're saying take and dick. That's true. A lot of people want to just take or dick someone over. And that's not the way I work. To me, I believe in give, 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 is the more you give, the better you live. And that's why we say the wetter, the better. When you get that sucker hot and wet, keep it well lubricated. The motor's always happy. And uh, I love uh, sharing the enthusiasm. I love joking around. Uh, but on a serious note, you can actually support the channel. I don't do the Patreon. I don't do fundraising or GoFundMe. I don't participate in anything of that nature. Uh, it just, it's nothing I need. You know, I, I make uh, good money with what I do because it really helps people save millions of dollars. And that's what I believe in. This one, uh, half the money would go to the channel and half the money would go to Owen. So if you want to support uh, personally me and the channel and you'd want to support Owen, our good man that roasts the coffee, it's a 50-50 split between us. Owen is a great guy, and uh, he really contributes to the economy out here and people like that. I want them to be a part of my thing when uh, people really help people. So that's what it's all about for me. And uh, a lot of people, they ask, Eben, are you on here just hawking oil? Are you just selling stuff? And I tell people I don't sell nothing. 
The only thing I do is I get things bought for one reason, results. Now, here are the results. Take a look at this cold flow. All right, let the cold flow test begin. Negative 43F, negative 42.7F. Let's do it. Incredible. Well, Shell Rotella is a clear winner. It's got the cold flow. Ham's oil is just starting to come. And now we're going to do a little turbocharger test here. All right, we're back after one minute. Negative 29, negative 40. like liquid camels. Boy, am I surprised. I can't believe Amsoil didn't win this one. I'm, I'm uh, really surprised. But you know what, though? Until you do the test and do a real-world test, you just simply don't know. But I do want to share something else. This is 100% synthetic, and it has a very, very high film strength. And the other thing is this doesn't thicken and oxidize like the other synthetic blend oils. So there are a big difference in longevity. So I believe this would be a lot thinner over the course of the oil change interval uh, compared to the Rotella because this is like a full synthetic or a synthetic blend. So there are a big difference between these oils, but now what we're gonna do is we're gonna show what that would look like under a microscope by doing a little example with some stones. Take a look at this. All right, now we're gonna demonstrate the differences from different synthetic motor oils. And a lot of people aren't sure about this, so I'm going to give you all the definitions right now. This right here, this would be like a, basically a mineral oil. If you looked at this underneath a microscope, that's what you'd be seeing. This is all different shapes, different sizes. This oil creates a uh, okay film strength, so you have more wear in your motor. Your motor won't last as long. You usually change your oil at about two to 3,000 miles with regular mineral oil. That's what this represents. Now we're on to a synthetic blend. This would be uh, some of your irregular shaped molecules, uh, which is like a synthetic blend quality. Usually synthetic blends are about one to 15% synthetic. So that's right, it's not much synthetic in there at all. So that's about what that would look like. And now we're on to a full synthetic. A full synthetic is basically 25% or more synthetic, that's right. 
they can call a full synthetic, full synthetic with only 25% with these perfectly round little molecules. And those create a much higher film strength. They flow better at cold temperatures. They don't break down and they don't allow the carbon backbone to attach to it. Less carbon, less sludge. And we're actually gonna throw a video right up here in the corner to a whole engine flush playlist where we restore the efficiency of your motor. And now of course we're on to our 100% synthetic. Now this is the beautiful stuff. And I refer to this on the channel as the liquid gold. And this creates a much higher film strength. It keeps the metal separated so you don't have as much heat and friction. And heat and friction is what wrecks your motor and that wears it out. So when you run this, you just don't have to change it as often. This you're gonna change at about every 10,000 miles. With 100% synthetic, you're guaranteed up to 25,000 miles. And I'm sure you're thinking that's gotta be impossible. Well, go ahead and take a look at this playlist right here. That's the oil analysis, proven results of how this can last 25,000 miles. Hey, and if you love this test, give it a thumbs up. That helps out the channel. That really means a lot. Hey, and share it with a friend. I never thought this was gonna win, but hey, it's impressive. Hey, if you wanna see more cold flow tests on diesel motor oil, click right here. If you wanna see more on transmission fluids, click over here. And this one below over here, this one is on how AMS oil is actually less than free. Check out that video, you'll be surprised. We'll see you back next time on Synthetic Oil Protection. Cheers to protection, protection, protection.